Yo, what's up people? My name is Maja underscore KE. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly go check me out at Maja underscore KE on all platforms. Subscribe, share the video, watch till the end, don't skip the ads. Guy, thank you so much for the people who follow me uh, on Instagram, uh, follow me on YouTube. Uh, I don't take that for granted. May God bless you abundantly as always. And this is Positive Vibes all the way. So guys, today is a beautiful afternoon here in Kenya, Africa, um, uh, to be precise, in my village, Nyabohanse village. So I'm coming live from a place, to, a place called Nyamwini. I don't know if this is Nyamwini or what, but, eh? Kiburanga, yeah, Kiburanga, near Nyamwini. Yeah, so I'm told Nyamwini is over there, and uh, from my um, right here you can see this is this is i don't know if you can see it guys i don't know if you can see it. over there over there i don't know if i can see it wow. so over there it's uh, i am marwa uh, big villa it's right there over there so guys uh, the reason of this video today and um ah i forgot to tell you dorina is fine she's fine after here i'm going to meet dorina we go for lunch yeah so the reason of this video today uh, you can see from here uh, from here we have uh, uh people have fish farming is it fish farming yeah so we want to know how they fish, uh, the profit they get, and how how the whole process is. So guys, with me here, I have Muita Junior. Yes, yes, Muita Junior is not feeling well, but he can just give a <laughs> Hello shout guys. out. Hello guys, welcome back to Maja Ke channel. Thank you so much for supporting him, <coughs> and keep on supporting him. Today I'm not feeling that well, but I'm trying. Yeah. Because I have to be strong. Yeah. You know, man, you have to be very strong. Yeah. Even if you are sick, but I think from here, I'll go and see the doctor, doctor so that I can know what's going on. Yeah, so in short, I have a running stomach. <laughs> yeah. And 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 Maja was, was laughing at, at me. So I think maybe one day... <laughs> We'll have that running stomach. <laughs> hey, this well, guy has visited toilet <laughs> from yesterday. Not it's even good. yesterday. Imagine today. Yes. <laughs> Since morning up to now. I've been in the toilet for ten times. Guys. <laughs> ten times in an, one hour. Not in one hour since the morning. <laughs> yeah, but it is okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so guys. You can also go and check me on YouTube at yes. Muita Junior, yeah. and uh, also uh, to my subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos, yeah. and also Maj Maja, thank you for supporting me. Yeah, you're most welcome. Yeah, Nasto, Mayuguno, and yeah. keep on supporting me. Yeah. And I think you promised to me that uh, maybe this week I'm gonna hit 1,000 of which already I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. We are, we are, Very soon we are, we yeah. are almost there, so we are trying, trying to push. Yeah. yeah, so guys, kindly let's take him to a thousand subscribers and uh, let's support him so that he can get the watch hours yeah. so that all of us we can be uh, on a same platform. Yeah, that is all I want for everyone in like youth. You, I, I really, I really want to maybe change uh the whole village like people are working hard to to get something maybe you know so we need we really need to help people we don't want to give people fish let's teach them how to fish and here we are fishing today fish yeah so guys let's go and see this is the these are the ponds are they called fish pond? Bond. Bond. Uh, no, bond. Pond. 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 Yeah. Fish pond, yes. So yeah. this is the owner of these Hi. fish ponds. This is the owner. We will be talking to him and get to know how the whole process is. How are you, bro? 
Cool man. Yeah. Yeah man. So this is the owner of this pond. <gasps> is it? No, 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 yeah. no. It's not slipper. Yeah. 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 Let me so. help you. So you're going to pay me because you are laughing at me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so with a junior. Today. Yes. Okay. So yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So maybe you can say your name and Yeah. I'm the gin chef. I'm a fish farmer. Yeah, I've been doing this uh, uh, process and pro project uh, for like uh, four years. Mm -hmm. Now I have three fish ponds here. Yes. As you can see, as them you can there. see one. one. This is one. Yes. Yeah, there's another that one there. Two, two. two. And, this is and three. Yeah. Here. Yeah. That's yeah. number three. Yeah. This is the this is the largest and the oldest. By yeah, the way. This one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it constitutes of a uh, fifteen hundred. Uh, fingerlings mm -hmm. by now they're just fish yes i'm just going to show you uh, as i am going to catch one yes you uh, catch one for me i give my cameraman <laughs> he's not feeling well so that he can enjoy today a little yes. bit uh, the far away fish pond it constitutes of a uh, 1200 fingerlings yes. by now they're just one uh, one month old yeah they just view to you and uh, just show you yeah. Uh, this is the third one here. It constitutes yeah. over 1,200 uh, fingerlings. Yes. By now they are just three months old. Yes. Yeah. Three months old. Yeah, three months old. So how many months uh, uh, are they supposed to be there to be ready for harvest? Okay. Let me say this. Yeah. Uh, when fingerlings you are just given, it's just um, one one day to three days old. Yeah. Uh, that's a fingerling. We are just taking them from the from the pot. Yes. Where we are now just importing them from. And uh, when we bring them here, they just if you have uh, the concentrate yeah. food or feeds yeah. to feed them, whereby we just start with the grow mash. Grow mash. Yeah. Grow mash. Yeah. Grow mash is also used to feed, feed chickens. chickens. Yeah. yeah. It's the same project. Yes. Fish and uh, chicken is the same project. Yeah. Uh, in terms of feeding, yes. uh, we start with the starters, then yeah. the grow marshes, yeah. then the pellets. Now oh. these are the fish pellets. Okay. So when the fish, uh, we, when you have the concentrates, yes. they finish like uh, you yeah. just get around uh, six months, then you'll be good to go. Yeah. After six months, you just harvest the fingerlings and the fish, uh, the whole. Oh. Whereby, as you can see, this fish pond here, it's somehow greenish greenish in content color yes. as we can see yeah. is it uh, a must so it, it, that the, the water must be green or yeah it's a the must the water changes uh, itself or there's something you put okay we use uh, animal waste animal waste yeah animal oh. waste as it's just greenish in color yeah. so the greenish content you're just uh, seeing here it's just the content from the animal waste oh, yeah. whereby yeah, yeah. cow dung cow dung yeah, yeah. animal waste yeah. whereby we can just say this one uh, the purpose of we using the cow dung yeah. here one we have three reasons why yeah. one when it turns water into greenish content the way you are just seeing it here yeah. uh, it facilitates the, the the viewing from the area view mm -hmm. from the animal or predators they can oh. use they cannot just see direct to water oh, so they so can just the, like the birds they can eat the fish yeah, they, they eat the fish but too. when you just use the animal waste yeah uh, it turns water whereby oh, you cannot yeah. see clearly yes. you cannot see the fish clearly as they are in the water here yeah. so the one reason it's that way it yeah. prevents from uh, the predators from uh, uh, getting into the fish uh, fish pond and getting the fish out yeah. the second one uh, the cow dung facilitates the growth of algae. The growth of algae when they're just basking. Mm. They are just basking around uh, during uh, noon time or uh, evening time. Yeah. They just eat algae. But the content of algae in terms of uh, nutritive value, mm. it's just minimal because it's like uh, zero point, uh, it has 0 0.33 uh, nutrients that they just facilitate to fish. Yeah. And uh, the third one, the third uh, reason why we use the cow dung, yeah. uh, when you put inside here cow dung, uh, things like uh, snakes, yeah. yeah, things like frogs, they don't do in the 
uh, environment where the cow dungs are. Yeah. So when you are just here, stepping down here, you are you are being assured that uh, no there's snake. no serpents, there's no snakes, there's no oh. frogs that can yeah, just you interfere. Can see them. Yeah. Yeah. So you are just clear that your safety precautions and uh, uh, as you the nature walking, yeah. it's safe. Yeah. Okay. That's the reason. Okay. So I can see uh, you just said that um, also this grass, uh, the fish eat the grass. Yeah, when you just uh, slash them yeah. onto the water, uh, but in one reason, they should be at the water during daytime only. But daytime only. Yeah, and you just remove them when they're just uh, uh, clogging at the one place where now the wind is blowing into. Yeah. So. The night time, as you know, grass during night time it consumes oxygen, so it will just uh, limit the oxygen concentration onto the water. So it should be there during the daytime only, and the water so they can just feed them. But during the night, you have in terms of uh, when it uh, it is in the evening, you should remove the grasses outside from the water so as they can not compete with the oxygen concentration onto the water. Okay. Yes. That was very good. So, guys, we want to go and fish and fish, uh, or maybe you can start with the slashing. The okay, so, yeah. sorry to cut you short. Yes, okay, you mean there is no food that is poisonous to them? Uh, all the food we are just buying from um, the retail shops, yes, uh, some uh, we have some organizations that uh, bring subsidy feeds to us. So we have uh, a concentrate feed, and uh, as you know, this product. Oh, the this, feeds this, are here. You Let can just see them, them from the other part. So guys, they are here. The wind. So these are are the feeds. Yeah. This is sand or wood. No, 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 no. This, this one here, it's just a pellet. These are fish pellets. They are just tilapia pellets. Oh, okay. So these are the concentrate. The ingredients that are being used here, it's just uh, the omega-6, uh -huh. the omega-3, uh -huh. and uh, some uh, molasses, uh -huh. and some proteinous stuffs that are being produced onto the uh, processing industries. Uh -huh. They're just producing these feeds as the concentrate. So we buy this one, so as they just... Uh, bring a nutritive value to our fish yes. so i have to add some um, as you can suggest uh, maize husks yeah. and uh, millet husks so as uh, when they're just basking they're just uh, eating it but they are they have a low nutritive value to them yes. but uh, that's why we are using the concentrate ones so as we can just give the product of the yield be of a good value for demand and to the market so uh, right now we can just feed feed them all, or the time is over. No. What time do you feed uh, maybe? The feed yeah, time? we are feeding this fish, tilapia fish, uh, around uh, morning hours uh -huh. and uh, noon hours. Is. Morning, what time are you supposed to, to uh, come and feed? Around, uh, around 10 mm -hmm. a.m. Mm -hmm. And uh, around uh, 3 p.m. Oh. Twice a day. Twice a day. Yeah. Okay. It, it should not go beyond uh, uh, 4, 4 p.m. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't go beyond. Yeah, so guys, uh, this is um, very good and very nice. I really, I'm really happy that uh, young men here in the village really work hard. People have projects. And that is very good uh, for even health-wise, you know you have you you put your mind together you don't do things that uh, don't uh, are not good well, that that means uh, like i can say you know uh, the olden days um we used to have a lot of kids like and you can get the young generation it was the young generation that was uh, because they didn't have anything to do so you can see people now here in the village are working hard, they have projects, and that is the best thing. Yeah, so let's feed the, the fish.
Oh. And this one? This one is for, for fish, for okay. fishing. Yeah, for fishing purposes. Okay, you know in my area there is a plant called Irihoko in our local language. So I don't know how it is called in English. But I was told when you feed the fish, they die. Okay, that's Irihoko. a poisonous, that's a poisonous uh, uh, chemical. Uh, but it's just a, a manual chemical from uh, herbs uh, that uh, we are just uh, getting them around our villages. But in the older days, uh, traditional days, they use it because uh, they didn't have um, equipments and uh, modern equipments for fishing. Yeah. So they could not afford uh, getting a, a hook like this one or a, a string that's Guys, hooked. Yeah, so, you can see how this hook looks like. Yeah. So this one. Due to yeah. traditionality and uh, some uh, uh, lack of some capital or uh, some knowledge yeah. from our ancestors, so they used the local herbs so that they can just. Uh, uh, get the fish from the ponds as uh, they can uh, they were pouring it as water inside and uh, it really killed uh, some uh, fish so it was just uh, poisonous to fish that's oh. why they used it but uh, it was poisonous because uh, to human beings it was just uh, like herbs so yeah. it was safe to human beings but uh, and to the aquaculture it was just poisonous that's oh. why they used that the herbs so as they can just get fish so, yeah, because of the modernity now, we are just using the modern equipment for fishing, yes. like this one here. This mm, now is modern. Yeah, it's so just a modern this one, one contains this. small fishes. Yeah, it, uh, the one we call it Vimena or what? Because I don't no. understand. Maybe let me try small to zoom. Let me show you. They'll come up when I give them food. You see, you see over there. You can oh, see over yeah, there. yeah. The thing, the thing, the are quite big. Wow, they are big. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, guys, um, we want to fish and again to give the fish food. Uh, food. I'm told. I'm told when you are going to maybe you want to fish from this pond. For example, right now we want to fish from this pond, this one. We don't have to give fish uh, food because they will not eat the 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 man. Yeah, the <laughs> small fish because they are they are given food, so we don't have to give them uh, uh, food before we fish. So let's try and fish here. It has already eaten and you have not gotten. <laughs> now let's try again. Must you have the this small fish to catch the link? Or oh, is is it any anything that can any food? It's just an edible thing. Okay. Uh, that anything be, that fish can eat yes oh. yeah. edible thing because i remember and also, can be hooked at the same time i remember also uh you I can remember. use ugali ugali yeah you can't now, hook ugali no ugali you cannot hook it oh <laughs> it's not just ugali it's just an african cake yes oh. uh, you can just african cake cannot be hooked so we use uh, the small fish uh, that, that uh, in terms of just using the small fish, they're just in t-shirt at the same time. Yeah. Of course, yes. Yeah. So we are waiting for the fish to come. <laughs> so guys, we are going to try the other side. So we are giving this. So this is how uh, they do it here. 
in our village. I don't know where you want to be from, how you do it. So this is how we do it here in our village. You can see the fish are now coming, you can hear the sound. Yeah. They are coming up now. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, this is an outlet. This is outlet to for the water to go. Eh? You can see now they are up. Yeah. Having the food. Yes. Is that enough? Yeah, it's just enough. Okay. So I think this pond we are uh, we are through with it, yeah. So yeah, so guys, we are through with uh, giving food to the fish. Now I want to ask my friend here, uh, what are the ch challenges that you go through? Maybe challenges you go through the negative impacts. Yes. Uh. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. Predators, the first challenge, uh -huh. uh, which are the birds and the animals and uh, even people who are not authorized into this field. Yeah. Uh, they are just stealing theft is yeah. one of the biggest issue. Yeah. Uh, and uh, some un birds that they just uh, come here so that they can just bask and just uh, get some fish from these ponds. Yeah. And uh, some, even the other reason for a challenge, yes. and just say a negative impact is that um, as this field it's just open, it's not just fenced. Yeah, as you yeah, can, can see, see, it's not yeah. just fenced. So we get a challenge whereby people protrude into this uh, project with their own animals, yeah. so as they can just uh, graze their animals here. Yeah, as you can see, these edges. Yeah, uh, yeah the some... dikes here, the dikes here. Yeah, uh, they have some. Um, grasses which are nutritive to animals yes so they just protrude onto the fields and uh, they just uh, break some uh, dikes here yeah. so that's the biggest challenge yeah. okay of course, yes so that is the biggest challenge, the biggest challenge and uh, when you get some fish from here yes where do you t take them maybe where is the <coughs> biggest market to check the fish a good question by the way yeah uh, when I started this pro project, yes. uh, I took an, an analytification and yeah. to the uh, our nearest center, uh -huh. whereby, as you know, a proverb by the name, uh, use the local material around you. Yeah. So I determined that I analyzed and I classified myself and uh, I just went to the market and uh, I just saw the demand. Yeah. Uh, the market demand for the, the market fish. in our village here or another market? No, in our village. Yes. At near here, near Buanse here, yeah. near Buanse market. Yeah. Whereby it's not just a big production of fish here. Yeah. So the consumption rate of uh, our center can just uh, consume this uh, fish and they can just uh, finish them yeah. uh, after a while of uh, one month. Yeah. So it's a process that uh, I get the fish then. I sell them onto the market, mm -hmm. but the market demand of this fish is around uh, 50 shillings mm -hmm. to 250 shillings. Yeah. Uh, if it is just a past of 250 shillings, yeah. it's going to be so hard because people are just uh, uh, mamambogas. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the mothers who are just selling some um, uh, vegetables onto the market. Yes. Those are the biggest. Uh, customers I have yeah. so they just like the product that is just uh, somehow cheaper yes. so they can just purchase yeah. so even if the market demand is over 50 shillings to 250 shillings yeah. even if uh, the feeding process 
past 250 shillings so as the the fish can just reach up to 300 shillings mm. uh, it will just need some uh, good time yeah. and to the water so as uh, it can just uh, get into that 300 shillings so the consumption rate of the feeds will be of high demand and i'll get some uh, some expenditure that's uh, so huge for me yeah. so because the the project is just on starting yeah. so i need some a uh, little bit expenditure yeah yeah so the market demand is of uh, 50 shillings to 250 shillings okay yeah okay that is very good and uh, do you have competition maybe here around or is it only you that you sell the fish around here the village people might be there who, who have uh, practiced this rearing of fish yes. but uh, we are like a uh, some uh, we are not more than 10 people yeah. uh, from around but uh, mostly this project is just tiresome for some people yeah. and so hard to manage yes. so from the challenges we face through some uh, uh, decline it some uh, just uh, uh, go by and say they don't want to practice the rearing of fish yeah. because uh, they, because of the uh, side effects that uh, we are just facing mm -hmm. Uh, that's the most challenge but uh, me i am uh, i have the three fish ponds here i am the leading here yes. others have one one at the other side yes. but uh, i am the leading producer okay yes so and do you sell them uh, like when they are not banned or you ban them then you sell uh once i exercised the first uh, the first harvest yeah. i harvested it was in 2021 yeah. whereby I analyzed myself that uh, if I sell it a whole or uh, the way it is yeah. as a full as a fresh one yeah. uh, the demand is uh, so low. low yeah but I have to add the add the value value yeah. addition so as I can just fry it deep fry it so as yeah. it can just have the value so as many people can just consume with an immediate effect yes. or they can just carry it to their homes yeah. of course yes so, so if they are just deep fried they have a high market so they just okay. uh, increase the value yeah also it gives uh, someone who has the customer it gives the customer easy time to go home maybe someone is from work evening Yes. And he doesn't want to go to get a lot of work. Also, on uh, frying the fish, so it gives easy time for the, 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 only the thing, customer. Yeah. The only thing the customer can just do is just uh, getting some sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So he has already produced or already ready, 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 made. ready, con uh, ready cons for consumption. Yeah. So it's just deep fried. So the thing you can just do is just uh, prepare some sauce, so as they can just uh, consume it with some sauces. Yeah. Or, we, or you can just consume it alone uh, depending on your appetite yeah yes yeah and uh maybe the last question yes mm, what can you tell the youths out here who don't uh, maybe don't have work or don't want to employ themselves like you have employed yourself uh, what can you tell the youths out here uh, the biggest challenge we get uh, from the way every person wants to employ himself or yes. herself. Yes. But the challenge outside here, it's getting that an idea of starting a business yes. or some capital for investment. Yes. So most of the youths, they have an idea of performing their own things or just uh, getting their own projects. But the biggest issue is the income and uh, some capital to invest. Yeah. and some idea that um, and the market demand or idea of the market plan yeah. so i can just tell the people that i'm just a 23 year old guy here yeah. and uh, i started this some um, i was just 20 years after my high school yeah. i hustled then i just invested in this yes so it's no good for people to yeah. just analyze you that you don't have money and uh, you are just a thief or uh, you are doing some uh, illegal businesses yeah. or uh, you are just uh, uh, you are just a kill to yeah. the environment or ecosystem that surrounds you yeah so you have to look for an opportunity where just you can just analyze yourself and see i am capable of doing this i'm yes. capable of doing that one yeah. so as we can just invent yes. and invest in that project you are just analyzing yes yes yeah.
it's a good project by the way yeah. but uh it takes it's just a long time investment yes. it's not a <laughs> a day to day investment that yeah. you can just it's a long term it. yeah it's a long term investment yeah yes exactly so uh guys if you're out there and you watching me everywhere watching this video be encouraged from people like him you can see he's only 23 years and he's doing great work here in the village he has i believe you have employed even people yes. through this project yes of course yes. yeah exactly so that is very good of you and uh, keep on pushing keep on working hard everything is possible that is all i i that is what i tell you every day everything is possible everything is possible no one was born to suffer who just uh, puts a, a little bit of effort then you get there so guys uh that will be all for today thank you so much thank you so much for the subscribers thank you so much for people who support us as always god bless you abundantly and uh always positive vibes till my next video bye